Okay, let's take a look at question number one. Okay, so the water is pumped into a tank at a rate modeled by WT equals 2000 e to the negative t squared over 20 liters per hour for uh, values of t between 0 and 8, where t is measured in hours. Water is removed from the tank at a rate modeled by r of t liters per hour, where r is differentiable and decreasing on the interval from 0 to 8. Selected values of RT are shown in the table above. At time t equals zero, there are 50,000 liters of water in the tank. Okay, so the first question is asking us to estimate R prime of t. Show, that, show the work that leads to your answer. Indicate units of measure. So when I look at this question, the, the first thing that I want to do is when I see R prime of t, I need to understand what r prime of t means. So r prime of t, prime is just another way of saying the derivative. So what happens when you take the derivative of rt? Okay. Well, what is the derivative? Well, the derivative is the rate of change. Okay. So if I'm going to calculate the rate of change, uh, how do we go about doing this? Well, if you recall um, what the derivative is, this is from page 8 of your notes, what the derivative is, is the difference quotient. In other words, what the derivative is, is as we take this line right here, and as it gets smaller and smaller, we get closer and closer to a tangent line here and this tangent line is the slope or what we've been calling the derivative okay so this question is actually asking you to think about this concept that you've done before so going back to the question um, what we're asked to do is find the slope now what you want to do here is since 2 is between 1 and 3 all we have to do to find r prime of 2 is take the slope from 3 and 1 over the interval 3 minus 1. In other words, all I'm really doing here when it says take the derivative, I'm going back to algebra 1 and in essence doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Why am I picking 1 and 3? Because 2 is obviously between 1 and 3. Okay, So we do that. This is going to give me 950 minus 1190. 3 minus 1 is 2. 950 minus 1190 is going to get me negative 240 over 2, which gets me negative 120. Okay, so what is the what is the value here? This is a negative 120. Now, it also says indicate units of measure. So, if we're taking the derivative, let's just think for a second here. The top is liters per hour, right? The bottom is hours. So, what I have here give myself a little space here, is negative 120 liters per hour, but then, remember, the other one is hours as well, so now I have liters per hour, per hour, which is essentially negative 120 liters per hour squared. So hopefully that makes sense, and in the next video, we'll tackle 1B.